Hey y'all, it's Bianca Woke Up Late and this is the best day ever so far that I've woken up to see Kanye has finally dropped Donda. Bro, I spent the whole morning listening to Donda track by track. Of course, I watched all of the shows prior to him actually dropping and I didn't want to get too invested in what I heard because it's Kanye. You never know. I thought it was going to be a month before he dropped and that it was going to be 20 other new songs that we never heard at any of the shows. But most of the songs that we heard are as is. There's been a couple changes here and there. Even some exclusive things like leaving one particular artist who shall not be named off of the Apple Music version of the album. Uh, but yeah, this is exciting and so far I have my top five out of the album. I'm sure there's a lot of other songs that will really grow on me, but so far I really, really love Remote Control with Young Thug. I think that's my favorite one because I love Young Thug and I feel like on this track it really like showcases like young thug's ability to make music and like his range and i feel like kanye really brought the best out of thugger like for real like i love me said young thug and remote control like shows people that aren't quite as much of a fan as i am like why young thug is that dude aside from him being one of the greatest businessmen especially when it comes to bringing other artists on he doesn't care where you're from he's putting you on he put on little baby come on man come on he put, he put on gunna come on little key god he put on he put on so many dudes man i love him to me that remote control is my number one out of it and then of course i i love jail with jay-z like that that whole verse was fire bro like he was saying some stuff on there like jail i really really messed with that um you know guess who's going to jail I, I, that that joint is fire and then we got moon with don Tolliver and kid cuddy first of all if kid cuddy is working with kanye you know it's about to be fire so that track is fire it's it's fire and then we got okay okay featuring Shensia and Ruga. I never heard Ruga before, but he sounds pretty good. He kind of reminds me of Polo G, but whatever. But I'm more excited for Shensia because I'm Jamaican. I don't know if y'all know that, but I'm Jamaican. And anytime I see a Jamaican artist make it onto the US Airways, I know it's about to be shut down. And they officially are on that album. We don't gotta talk about that situation with Popcorn and Drake. We don't gotta talk about that. We don't gotta talk about it. But Shensia is on the album for real. She's actually on two tracks, but I think this one is a standout one for her. Her first went stupid hard. <laughs> like she said, I'm a widow. <laughs> she went so hard. And then my fifth one would definitely be Jesus Lord Part 2 with Jay Electronica, the logs. Uh, Swiss Beats is on that, you know, doing his production work and whatnot. And I feel like this this track just goes so hard. It's so gritty. I love having like real dudes on a track that's really about that rap life. They're not just chatting, like you know what I'm saying. They're not doing that 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 chatting talk. Like they're really talking on this, and I really appreciate that. I think this one goes hard. Again, these are not really in order per se, except for that Young Thug record. That is definitely my number one. But like, these are my favorite records. Hopefully more can grow on me. Please leave in the comments below what you guys think of the album so far. Like, what's your favorite track? What do you think is gonna be the number one track? I don't even have an idea of which one will be the number one track. Like, I love, I, I feel like, I would lean more towards that jail track with Jay-Z as being the number one track only because it's Kanye and Jay together and it's actually just them together. Nobody else is on the is on the track. So I think I think that's that might be it. But let me know what you guys think. And thanks again for watching. It's Bianca Woke Up Late and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.